Snell, and I'm here with a quick message for you while we're blasting Mortician's Darkest Day of Horror. Not their strongest record, but it's still fucking Mortician, and it's awesome. Also, love Roger's Star Wars shirt and Will's weaponry. But, a cursed womb, I know... Some of you have been like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I got the promo tape. And speaking of the promo tape, I saw that on people's year end lists next to bands like Black Curse. And it was just like, holy fucking shit. Wow, like, that is awesome. And if you follow us on Instagram, then you already know what this announcement is. But... For those of you that are wondering, like, what's going on with the 2020 compilation, well, in Denmark, and that means Europe, we, we have the help of Molten Face Records, and they're going to be doing a cassette version, I know that. Uh, I honestly forget about the CD version. I didn't bring it up yesterday and I forget so I apologize but stateside and I'm so fucking stoked on this Verminosis Records is going to be handling our stateside release holy shit they put out Foul of Serpents one of the best recordings of last year this was the first Verminosis recording as well. Verminosis number one. I still need to review the black, um, I meant Cursed Relic cassette. It's awesome as well. Like, so I can't believe the company we're in with both record labels. Cause I checked out the bands Molten Face have and yeah, we went with them for a reason, and same with Verminosis, like, we kind of waited for a certain label to come by, and it all worked out this way, and I'm beyond fucking stoked, and I just wanted to share it with you ladies and gentlemen, because I consider you, honestly, as sad as this might sound, you're my friends. Like, this is life now. We have to talk over ways we never really had to talk before. And we had to entertain ourselves way differently than we ever had to entertain ourselves before. Like, I was just listening to the live Mortician record, and, you know, it's not the best thing in the world, but, like, it gives you that feeling, and it gives you this warm feeling that I took for granted, and that's stage banter and how fun live music really used to be and how much I took it for fucking granted sometimes even when it came to filming video like as much as to me that's a passion as much as going to the show getting a good shot of the band and whatnot but you know I should have just been paying attention like somebody else probably filmed it but I liked helping film smaller bands and giving them all of YouTube if they really, you know, technically to check out their band and for everybody that checked out A Cursed Womb from the beginning, thank you so fucking much, like, you seriously rule infernal fucking hails, but I wanted to make that announcement. I wanted to make it kind of short and sweet. This is Ric Flair 93, by the way. It's a 50-50 hybrid. It's fucking gnarly. That's my um, medical tip of the week. Like, if you can get your hands at your dispensary on Ric Flair 93, it's fucking brutal. That's all I can really say, it's brutal. But it's good, like, I could still get shit done. Like, we got the J card done yesterday. I don't see the ambassador. How are you? 
You ever see this movie? Uh, it's got like Bill Pullman in it. It's about like real voodoo and zombies. I, I forget what it's called off the top of my head. I probably shouldn't have even brought it up. Fuck. But uh, it's an awesome movie if I... Well, it's not awesome, but it's it's an interesting movie. I know you've seen the cover. It's like Bill Pullman, like... There's, like, a hole in, like, a fucking wooden coffin, I think. And, like, Bill Pullen's inside. It, it's a cool movie. I don't know why I can't remember the title. So maybe it wasn't that cool if I can't remember the name of it. But I'm also, like I said, having some Ric Flair 93. But... I just wanted to spread the word, and I'm just happy. It's a celebration. So, I wanted to thank you ladies and gentlemen for not only watching Vital Vinyl Vlog and showing nothing but support, but for anyone watching who also listens to A Cursed Womb and supports us, we appreciate the shit out of you. Same with Verminosis Records as well as Molten Face Records. Like, it's a big deal for us to be working with you guys, and it's nothing but appreciative. And we ha we might have a split coming out in the future. We don't know. Um, we'll find out when we find out. But, you know, I'll give you guys an update whenever that actually happens. So... In the meantime, check out our band camp, add us on Instagram. We'll have shirts in the future printed at Inferno. It's awesome, you know, like, I, I'm just very excited about, you know, the future of a cursed womb and just everything right now. It's just something, I don't know. I haven't been this stoked in a while, so I just wanted to share it with everybody and just hope everybody else is having a good weekend. This feels like a fucking eternity. Like, with all this snow and ice and gnarly weather. I hope everybody's safe as well. All my Texan viewers, be careful. Like, my buddy owns a BMX shop, Empire BMX. Total fucking support. Like... He spent the night at the shop, I think. I think the whole family might have, like, but, uh... Like, just to make sure nobody tried anything grimy, because, like, there's no power and shit in Austin. It's fucking brutal. So if you have friends in Texas, hit them up. Let them, you know, like... If you live in Texas and you're watching this, let me know how, like, if you're good, like, what's going on. If you can even watch this, you know? Don't, don't waste your battery, your cell phone battery, watching a YouTube video if you don't have power right now. For real. I don't want anybody having to be in a situation where it's like, why did I watch that fucking dude just talk about his band? Like, I don't know. But I wanted to share that accursed womb news. I wanted to listen to some mortician. Even if it's a, you know, not as popular album, it's still good. It's still fucking mortician. You know what you're getting, and it delivers. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Peace.